Hello, this is Jacqueline Sanders Blackman, and I'm going to give you a preview of our Espresso Steam Games, um, The Science of Color. And what I'm going to do in this segment is preview a game, and then you can kind of learn as I play, and I give you little tips and hints and help you dissect the, the questions. And then you can play yourself and see if you can beat my score. And if you can beat my score, your name will show up on the leaderboard in our newsletter. And the top score of all players for that 30-day uh, period will receive a prize. And so you'll see we've started uh, this particular challenge, challenge 0150745. Um, it's March 15th, 2020. So it is good for the next 27 days. Um, now, the way you, what you would do is take that number and you would go to your browser or have someone uh, open up a browser for you and type in kahoot.it and then put in that PIN number, and that will kick off the game. Um, another way is, if you have our newsletter, we have the links in our newsletter. So, um, and that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna open up a browser and just put that link there, and you'll see it's already gotten started. So, again, this particular one is the science of colors. And if you remember Smart Sarah, this little character right here, this is Sarah, this is PJ uh, for Preston Jr. Um, she loves science. PJ loves math. And in Sarah's book, The Magic of Science, um, she's curious about colors and what forms colors. Um, and so the questions in this quiz are based on that. And you'll find, if you have the book or can get a hold of a copy of the book and read it or have someone read it to you, it'll give you some of the clues to the questions that are in this quiz. Now, let me just show you how to play the quiz. And, um, and, like, and I'll also give you some hints to and some of the um, answers. So what I'm going to do... I typically use JJJ, but I've played before, um, and so it's kind of like I'm going to play against myself. So if you came and put your initials in, or your mom and dad put your initials in, hit OK. Now you see how I show up, and I'm going to be playing against myself. So you're going to see that when it adds up all the points. Now, so we're counting down. There we go. You can probably hear a little bit of the music in the background. Now, first question. Remember, you've got to watch this timer. It's counting down, and you want to answer before it gets to zero. Um, so let me read the question. What color is the ribbon in Smart Sarah's hair? Okay. Smart Sarah, and there's her ribbon. So it gives you choices. One is red. One is white. One is brown. One is pink. Now, the trick to all of this is that the colors in the block don't necessarily match what the words say. So you have to read the words to know what your choices are. Now that looks pink to me, so I'm going to go for pink. Click on that and look. It says it was correct and it gave me my score. Now you probably can hear the music in the, the background. I'm trying to keep it low so you can also hear me as I talk. I'm going to go to the next screen, and you see I'm playing against my each, myself. I, I didn't get very far uh, when I played the first time, as you can see, but this one, we're going to go all the way, okay? The next one. You get a preview of the question, and then when that line gets there, it takes you uh, and starts really counting down. So don't worry, don't panic if you don't read it when it gives you that little preview. This question says, how many items are in Smart Sarah's pockets? Now, here's a pocket. That's the second pocket. There's, this is even a pocket. So, I'm counting one, two. And 
that is one of our options. So we have to read that. Just go for and there you have it. Since we're on a streak, an answer streak, that means you get a bonus if you answer several in a row. So let's see how we do. Look at my score, it's getting up there. Now when I played the first time, I did answer that second question. So I did get some points there. So it's kind of like I'm competing against myself. I need you to play so that there's some more names on that. And let's see who beats me. Here's the next one. What color is the liquid and smart Sarah's flask? Now flask, that's, that's a scientific uh, term. It represents this, what looks like that little jar. It's got an unusual shape. That's a flask, okay? Now, so what it's asking, what color is that liquid? Is it brown? Is it pink? Is it yellow? Is it blue? Well, I definitely would say it's yellow. But again, be careful because the color of the blocks aren't the answer. You have to read the words to determine the answer. Oh, look at my score go up. We're doing good. Okay, how about the next one? And when I'm when I'm picking, you can yell out, and maybe I can can hear you and uh, help me pick the right one. Now, this is what color are Smart Sarah and Talented Terrence painting his room? Look at that wall right there. So it was this color. This is the before, and this is the color they're painting it. Okay. Is it red? Is it white? Is it pink? Or is it pink? You know, this is tricky because the words say one thing, but again, the color of the blocks is something different. Maybe that's just to trip you up, but it's not going to trip us up because what color? That's closest to the red. red. And we're right again. Woohoo! Get to hear that, that fun music play. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Okay, that's just a preview of the question. It kind of gets you geared up to know it's going to be something around the paint cans. So, let me read that. How many paint cans are in Talented Terrence's room? That, this is her big brother. See, she's looking up to him. That's Talented Terrence. Here's his room. Look, he's going to Moore House. That's a really cool college. So, how many paint cans? I see one. I see two. I see three. Good. Hope you counted that al along with me to help me out. And I'm going to put in our answer. And look. So see, you're almost ready to play this yourself. This is good practice. All right. What is in the sky? Okay, that's just the preview. So let's read the whole question. What is in the sky? above smart Sarah and her grandfather. So this is her grandfather. He picked her up from the bus stop. And uh, there's something in the sky. Let's see. Is there a meteor? A lot of you may not know what a meteor is, but that's a rock that falls from the sky. Well, that's, that's not in the picture. Acid rain. Well, there's some rain. Can you see the raindrops? But I wouldn't call it acid. Wicked Witch. Well, this isn't a Halloween story. There's no Wicked Witches here. But I definitely see a rainbow. I don't know if you knew that's what that was called, but this is called a rainbow. And you have those different colors uh, in the sky. And in Smart Series book, she talks about rainbows. She's really fascinated with them. Well, look, we got a lot of points for that. Because we're on a streak. We've answered six questions correct in a row okay all right moving right along Ooh, look at that number that's five five one six that's read five thousand five hundred and sixteen okay let's go to the next one you'll see over here on the left side we're on number seven okay time's ticking smart series grandfather's umbrella color is not in the rainbow is that true or is that false? Well, that color, that's a yellow orange. I, I definitely see it. I'm going to have to say false because it says it's not in the rainbow. And that's false. It is in the rainbow. See? 
was tricky. They put that word not there. Oh, look at us now. Can you read that number? It's a big number. 6791. You say, you read that as 6791. Awesome. Okay. Smart Sarah Buses Tires Color is in the rainbow. Is that true? Now here's her bus. Her tires are what color? Black. That's right. If you said black, you're correct. There's no black in the rainbow. So that is false. Thank you. And hey, we are definitely on a streak here. So when you play and you put your name in, you'll read the questions and then give your answers and you'll get high numbers. And if you're faster than I am, because I'm stopping and talking and chatting with you, if you're faster than I am, you definitely can beat my score. Okay. What color is the sky behind Smart Sarah? Oh. This is, this is a different one. What color is the sky behind Smart Sarah and her father? Remember before she was with her grandfather. This is her father. Okay. And that's her brother. You see her brother? Her brother. Do you see her, her dog there now? I'm getting distracted and I'm running down my time, so that's not good. But the sky, is it blue, pink, green, or violet? Violet's a purple color. See this circle here? This, that's a purple color. That's what the word violet means. But we know that that sky is blue. Even though the box here is red, we're reading the words. That's the answer. So click. And there we go. It turned green. That's good. Green is good. And I get some more numbers and I'm moving on. Number 10. What color is the dog next to Smart Sarah's dad? The dog there. See him? What color is it? Is he brown? Is he pink? Is he blue? Or is he yellow? Well, I don't see dogs typically that are pink, blue, or yellow. So, uh, that dog right there, that's a typical dog, and he's brown. That's my guess, and I, we were correct. All right. I can't wait till you take the test, and then your name's up there. Here we go. What color, so this is where's my pointer, what color is the pod? Smart Sarah's mother is using. This is a pot, right? She's... What color is that? Is it black? Is it sky blue? Well, we... is it orange or is it green? Well, it's black. Don't you think? I think it. Yep, there we go. We've done 11 in a row. Now, every now and then, I do get them wrong. Don't get me. Just be... Some people think that I write the questions, but. I... I actually have other people write the questions for me. Um, I give them the subject matter. So I get surprised too. Here's one. How many items has Smart Sarah Mom use the blue frosting on? Well, how many? These are cupcakes. This is items, but these are cupcakes, right? I see one, two, three, four, five, six total. There's a total of six. But only what? One, two. Have the blue icing. Guess what? I don't have an option here. We've got a problem. We're gonna fix that. So this particular one. Now I don't have the right option here, but when you take the test, you will. There'll be a two in one of these boxes. I'm just gonna let it run out for, for now. I'm gonna get that fixed. When and I want to show you when it times out, that means I get no points. So look, isn't that sad? Well, it's sad for me, but it's good for you because that means you're gonna catch up. You'll be able to catch up because you'll be able to put the right answer, which was two. 
What do the different colors of the cupcakes in the picture see the picture? What do the different colors of the cupcakes in the picture remind you of most? So see the whole the various colors when they're side by side? Does it remind you of a sunset? Oh sunset's yellow. Does it remind you of a forest? Forest is pretty much one color, it's all green and an ocean, that's, that's blue, that's water. Uh, you notice I, I eliminated these first. Now let's go back to this first one. A rainbow. Yes, rainbow has lots of different colors. So, I'm going to try that. Very nice. Okay, we're up for the next one. Where is the red cupcake in this picture? Okay, let's look at the picture. Where is the red cupcake? Is it on the left? Is it on the right? The right's over here. Is it in the front? Or is it in the middle? Okay. So this is testing you on if you know your left, your right, your front, and your middle. Some vocabulary words. Oh, it's where? Did you say the, the left? You correct. And we have more points. Okay, what else? Let's see what else they have for us. We've got three more left, so we'll let it show us this preview. Something to do with makeup and big sister. How many makeup items is Smart Sarah's sister? And her sister's name's Nurture Nola using in this group of pictures. So let's see, she's got that's one, that's two, she looks like she's powdering, three, she's looks like she's putting on her foundation, and that's four, she's putting on her lipstick. So is it one of our options? Well good. Always helps when it's one of the options. Okay, purple hair. Who in this picture has purple hair? Well, I mentioned to you that this was her big sister, Nurturing Nola. Is Sarah's hair purple? No, Sarah's hair is what color? Black, right? And so we know it's not just smart. Sarah's not neither of them. It's actually the sister. Okay, we're looking for a blue cupcake. Where is it? Is it? This is similar to the other one, but now they've moved to the blue cupcake. So you've got to know your colors. Is what? Where is the blue cupcake in this picture? There's a blue cupcake. Is it on the left? That's over here. Is it in the front? Okay. Is it on the right? Definitely a blue cupcake. It's not immediately on the left. It's not immediately on the right, but it is in the front. It's in that front row. So, okay. Very nice. And this is our last one. Where is the orange cupcake? So one more time. First of all, I have to know which one is the orange one. That would be this one. And now, is that one on the left? Is it in the front? Is there no orange cupcake? Well, I know you know your colors, so we know there's an orange cupcake. Is it in the back? And that would be yes. It's in the back row. Know your front, your back, your left, and your right. Well, it's all good. We're finally done. And that's our score. Look how much better I did. Well, I kind of got distracted and ended early on this one. But that is our Cahoots for the day. 
and I encourage you to um, get the link yourself so that you can play. I'll go back and show you this challenge. There's a challenge number if you've got a parent there that can write that down. But also, if you want to sign up to get our newsletter, I'm going to show you. It's very simple. You'll just type in here www.technologyexpresso.net. I know you probably used to typing um, or typing .com, but for our newsletter sign up, you type .net. So have your parents type that in. They hit enter, and voila! They just give us an email and a first name. And you're on the newsletter you'll know when we're having a competition when we announce the winners get to see your name on the the leaderboard and so much more so that is our espresso steam cahoots game challenge and our preview to our latest uh challenge for our level three our pre-k through second grade I had fun sharing my tips with you, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And that is our video for today.